The Izadi is another. Oh, Rion, sorry. Yeah, Rion. Rion, yeah. of course, Re playing out of Mikado Arcade, East Japan as well. So this is going to be an East West match. But Rion originally actually from West Japan, to be honest with you. Interesting, uh, interesting. Yeah. Moved out there when he was very young. Also plays, yeah, a little bit Tekken on the side as well. Plays everything. It's just, I, I, I really can't stress enough how impressed I always am with Rion. I've talked about it in previous finals before. I feel like this guy just doesn't get the credit that he really deserves. I, I, gotta, I gotta say it again. I know I just said it a minute ago, but every year he's come to Evo, he's made top eight. Who can say that in, in a lot of different games? There's not many not players lot, that are just like a lock for top eight. And Rion, you know, doesn't really get the big wins. He never really like goes all the way. So I think but a lot of people overlook him. Consistency. But consistency with a character like Kai, I mean, Kai is the embodiment of consistency, right? He's just solid, solid And the play. other thing is, this is a loser's finals rematch from EVO 2016. Last time, Omito took it 3-1 over Rion. Rion wants this bad. I'm telling you, man, none of the brothers in this bracket come here to get top eight. That's they right. They come here to win. That's right. And we saw Rion in, uh, in top 32 yesterday. He actually beat, uh, it was in quarters, actually. He beat Peppery Splash. And obviously, Peppery, a very, very strong Johnny player, but... Is he on the level of Omido? I don't think so. So we'll have to see how, how Rion does because it was a little shaky for him yesterday. That's right. Look, let's break it down real quick, Ryan. Let's t talk about these characters a little bit. Kai on the two-player side. Sword Normal is very balanced character. Kind of a jack-of-all-trades, right? But pretty strong in his own right in this version of the game. Johnny's going to be a stance character. You see those coins at the bottom left corner of your screen? Those level up a stance that he has. That stance can be used to either unleash an attack, get dynamic movement, or he can actually cancel it to create awesome, fast, tight pressure. And of course, at level one, when those coins hit, it might be okay for you to kind of threaten him or try to try to interrupt his strings. But once he gets access to level three, Miss Finer, that's when he becomes really dangerous and his return becomes very high. Yeah. Both of these characters have comparable reach. Johnny, of course, if he's able to level up his Miss Finer stance, gonna have higher return, I think, on average. Kai gets the about even return, though. And you can see right now, Leon gets the knockdown, putting the pylon nice. out there. Nice. Good bait and punish on the dead angle, burst to protect himself. Oh, but Omido's yes. not done yet. Oh, a little bit of a drop. Oh, he had no coins. He couldn't continue, but he gets the kill anyway. And we saw Rion very early after the first hit. He actually bursted to try to prevent Omido from getting the level on the coins like you were talking about. There it is right there, an early level two for Omido here. That's right. If you're a spectator in this matchup, that's going to be an important point. Watching Johnny's coins and watching trades into coins. Those that are particularly beneficial for him. And you see right now Rion getting back to mid-screen. Holding out yeah. these normals, they're both just spacing each Th other out. This matchup in particular changes a lot once Johnny gets level 2 or level 3. Yeah. A lot of Kai's best tools have to be taken off the table because they become unsafe against the leveled up Mistfinder move. That's right, especially that projectile, a lot of his sword normals that he might use to try to interrupt strings, they become very susceptible to level 3 Mistfinder. Right now locked in the corner, 5k counter hit. Scrooge McDuck and him, level 3. Nice character specific combo there, giving him the level 3 without having an OTG. That's big for Omito. And a nice conversion off the low. That's going to be it for game Empty 1. Empty sweep. Omito Johnny putting his first point on the board. Seoul West Japan representative in this tournament. And right, he's been in this position before, right? Evo 2016, he was the lone Johnny in that loser's bracket. He fought his way to second place against Machibo that year. But as the defending champ, def different kind of attitude this year. So you can see Omito using coins as a poke early. He's yeah. willing to, to risk a few coins missing just to try to get that early level. There it is again, and there he actually hit it. So that's a big plus there for Omito. What a blitz back by Rion. The counter blitz there. Locks him down with the coin, gets the hit. Rion's got to be careful if he wants to burst here. Good burst, takes the corner from him actually. Yeah, this, this character Johnny actually very difficult to burst back. Hold on! Danger time. Danger! Omito gets the best of it. Gonna take him to the corner with this. Gets wall the knockdown. Wall. Gets the knockdown. What you got for me? Oh, and he baits the blitz. That's such a common blitz point because he wants to lock you down with his YYRC. But uh, Omido one step ahead. Didn't give it to him. And that's the other thing. This Johnny character is one of the few characters in Guilty Gear that gets rewarded so heavily for his throws. Watch how Omito incorporates throws into his game. This dude has a sick round game. Really good at emphasizing throws in his offense. He will take the damage and the return that he gets from it. And again, Omito using that coin early as an anti-air in, in this case, and gets that early level two, and that completely changes the matchup. There's the easy hit confirm off the 2S. And yeah, Rion forced the burst. Starting to get pretty low. But another hit by Omito. Omito's making this look really easy. Every time coming in high, getting his touches, push to the wall. Rion trying to fight out of the corner, but is it gonna be enough? No, Omito, four rounds straight. Just like that, starting off, going straight to winner's finals, not dropping a round.
That's right. Omito is... I, that's that's not unforeseen, right? Omito especially has really good practice against some of the best guys in West Japan. Got to shout out Rozu, right? But, yeah, you got to imagine that's a bit of a disappointment for Rion. That I know that's somebody yeah, that he, he has in his sights. He yeah, definitely he wants to take down Omito. He's it, still going to have a chance in loser's side, mind you. That's right, that's right. He's not out yet. But it's just crazy how Omito just has this ability to make some of the best players in the world look like absolute novices, right? We saw it yesterday in some matches like him versus KV. It was just so one-sided. It's like, it, it looks like a pools match or something. And this was this was the same thing. It's like, Rion, I talked him up so big. You know, one of the best guys in the world, super solid, super consistent. He didn't even went around, Obama. Didn't even went around. To be fair, he plays a character that's been nerfed four times and is still top tier. Might have to ask some questions there. But yeah, you, you hit the nail on the head, right?